and we're back for more math. So we are going to do our, um, and you know, just remember, okay, so I, well, actually you might not have seen this unless you saw yesterday, unless you saw the today's health review, I think it is. I don't remember which it is, but this is a new stand that um, the Essentios gave to me. So it's kind of nice because all I have to do is just do a little movement instead of the whole, let me carry you around in my pocket with me. So, and I feel like you can even see a little bit clearer with some of this. So I'm very excited about this. Um, and hopefully you can see well. I'm trying to just get it a little closer without too close. Okay, let well, me we know what that works. <laughs> Look at that, that's so great. Okay, anyway, so we are going to do our arithmetic um, column addition. So I really want you to be pushing yourself to go as quickly as I'm going to try to make you go. Okay, ready? Eight, 12, 16, 17, 18. Did you get 30? I hope so. Carry over. What'd you get? 39. Good. Some of you are so fast. 27. Twenty-seven. All right. Oh, that was kind of messy writing. But all right, now we're gonna go up and we're gonna see if our answers match. So I want to hear you nice and loud. Nine, fourteen, eighteen, twenty, uh, twenty-two. Sorry, thirty. Ooh, wow, I had a little there. All right, three, nine, 18, 27, 35, 39, right? Good, we're doing well so far. Three, eight, 17, 18, 20, 27. Are you with me? Are you just keeping with me? All right, two, six, 12, 18, 23, 30, 20, oh my, what am I, okay, wait, hold on, sorry, okay, 2, 6, 12, 18, uh, 23, yeah, 26, oh, okay, something missed there, so let's see, 2, 11, 12, 14, 23, 27, all right, well, there's one number that we got wrong, or that I got wrong. Let's go back and check, and let's see. Ready? 8, 12, 16, 21, 30, good. 3, 7, 15, 24, 33, 39, 3, 26. I don't know where I got 21 from. 26. There we go. Now I'll go to our next one. 26, 15, 17, 18, 27. Ah, oh, I, whoa. Did you guys get 26 the first time? And I just totally messed that up. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. You have to tell me if you got, did a better job than I did on that one. I totally missed that one. I don't even know how I missed it, but Good. I hope that you got the answer. What is our answer? 276,790. Very good. Yeah, great job. And uh, apparently some of you are needing to be here, standing in front of the camera. Not me, because I just messed that up. All right. Let's look at our measure, or not measures, our solving for X and solving for Y. Okay. Um, looking at those carefully. When 
we are looking at solving for x and y, the first thing we do is solve the side that we know. We don't know how to solve an x with the problems, but we do know how to solve two numbers together. So 144 divided by 12 equals, good, we know our 12 multiplication. So dividing is going to be pretty simple to remember as well. Bring down your equals, bring down your 9, bring down the plus, bring down the x. So you bring everything else down right next to your number that you figured out, you solved. 144 divided by 12, bring it down. After I have x plus 9 equals 12, I have to get rid of this 9. It's in the way of me figuring out what x is by itself. So since I have plus 9, I need to subtract 9. I do the opposite process. I subtract 9, and what I do to one side very good, I heard you. I have to do to the other. Make it neat, third grade. See how nice and neat it is? And that helps you to see it better. So I can cross out my nines because nine, was plus nine minus nine is nothing, it's zero. So my x is by itself. See how my equal signs come right underneath each other? What is 12 minus nine? That is three. So now I already know my answer, x equals three. After I figure out what X is equal to, what do I need to do? I plug it in, plug it in, right? So now I plug it in to my top problem, this whole problem here, not here, but here. So I do three plus nine equals 144 divided by 12. This is how neat I want to see it. Okay, we're forgetting our neatness now that we're home. No, 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 not going to happen. You stay neat for me. Um, so keep it nice and neat so I can read it easier, okay? After we have written our plugged in number with our mathematic equation, then we simply do this, the sides. Three plus nine, 144 divided by 12, 12 equals 12. We're done, okay? Super, super simple to do. You know how to do these. We've done them for a while, just reviewing them. So think it through. Same thing here. It's a little bit different because if you're looking, it has a subtraction sign rather than an addition sign. So we have to look very carefully at that um, to make sure. So six times nine equals, good, 54. I'm going to be writing awkwardly, but I'm still going to be neat. And then we bring everything else down. Y equals 20. Y minus 20 equals 54. And when I have a negative on this side, what do I do to get rid of it? Put a positive. I have to add 20 this time because negative 20 plus 20 is going to equal my zero so I can get rid of that 20. So what I have on this side, I have to put on the other. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So because 20 plus negative 20 plus 20, getting rid of that, I do the opposite process. It leaves me with y so I can cross those out, bring down your equals, and then do the side that we've added over here. Four and zero, obviously, and two and five. So y equals 74. Okay, that's great, but what if we did it wrong? We always need to check. How do we check? By plugging it in, plugging it in, okay? So we take 74 minus 20 equals six times nine. And then we subtract four minus zero, four. Seven minus two, five. Equals six times nine, 54. And if it equals, we put a check because we are done. Okay, did you get those? So please look at those because some of you were saying you're still not sure. 
um, look at those so you'll know how to be sure and do them. And now, see how cool this is? Look at all I have to do is just bend it down. I'm still here. Um, so now we're gonna do our making change, which is what we've been working on for a couple of days now. When we're looking at our making our change, we have just our, how much we had and how much we spent and then, or what we gave to the, um, the shop owner. So this is what we spent actually, this is what we gave to the shop owner um, and then what they're gonna give us back from change. Nope, that's not how it works. This is what, yes. Okay, anyway, we're gonna subtract. <laughs> I don't ask me to think right now. It is Friday. And so we're just going to be done with this. Okay. Um, so we're just going to subtract 35 minus $17 and 35 cents and see what we come up with. So we know that when it's zeros, we cross them out automatically. Okay. We come to the first non-zero digit. Five is not a zero digit, but can I borrow from my five? Because when I check the top, what do I notice? Ooh, my number on the top is too small for my number on the bottom. So I cannot borrow from five. So just cross him out, put the same number up top, come over to the next digit. I can borrow from my three because there's a smaller digit underneath. So I take one away from my three, add that to my five. So now I have 15 total, but I still have these two numbers that need help. So we have to be helpful. This is a time where we can't keep it all to ourselves. This is a great time to be practicing this. So if he's got 15, he doesn't need 15. He can give one of his, one group of his to the next number. And that's what he does. Takes one of those 15 away. Now he's only got 14. And now this guy has it, but he notices his neighbor is still without. So instead of keeping all 10 that he has, he's going to take one of his away and give it to his neighbor because that's what we need to do. Be good neighbors, help each other out. And that's what they're doing as we borrow and help each other out. So 10 minus five, good. Nine minus three, excellent. Bring down our decimal point, two spaces from the right. 14 minus seven, very good, and two minus one. So our change is $17.65. And then we come over to our little change maker to figure out how we're supposed to, to divide that up. So where do I start? Do I start with my 20s? Obviously no, because it's not even a 20. It's a 10. How many fives? Right, only one five because 10 plus five is 15. How many ones then? Two because that's 16, 17. We have 65 cents. How many quarters are we gonna use? 25, 50, we can't do 75, that's too big. So I guess, what, two quarters? So we have 50 and then we do our dimes. Do we need a dime or two? We can do one dime to get to 60. And what about our nickel? Right, one nickel to get to 65 and we don't need any pennies, okay? So I think you know how to do those pretty well, um, but just make sure you are practicing that carefully. Whoa, and right here I'm in your face. Ah, scary, that's really scary. Sorry guys, didn't mean to scare you. So hopefully you got those um, review things down, thinking those through carefully. Take out your arithmetic page 281. I think you'll like what you see. It's just reading graphs. So you already know how to do that um, very easily. So you're reading the graph and completing the table for how many hours Jake spent using grandpa's telescope. So it tells you on May 1st, and it tells you on May 8th, and May 15th, and May 22nd. But then on the side where the numbers are, it tells you how many hours he spent. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. So look where those dots are and figure out what the hours were, okay? 
but it's pretty simple. Um, then you're going to go down to section two, plot the points. So the first one, you were reading the graph. Now you're plotting the points on the graph. Remember first to count across. Go across first, then up, across, then up, okay? You have to cross the street before you can go up into the next building, okay? So go across and then up. So um, you're looking and it's pl um, plot point one, one, so it's across one, up one. Two, three is across two, up three, okay? And it tells you all of that in the direction. So you're plotting those points. Make sure to put the dots on those points. And then what do you have to do? Connect the dots, okay? So connect your dots to see where they go, how the line moves, okay? And if you've been, well, I hope you haven't been watching the news, but an interesting thing, that's what they've been using. They've been using graphs like this on the news, talking about, is the coronavirus spiking or is it coming back down? And so they're using a graph that is, it's not like points as specific like we are. It's more of a fluid line, but that's what, what people use all of the time. Graphs are very helpful. So it's important to get to re recognize how to use them. Then for section three, you are writing the ordered pair. What's the ordered pair? It's what they have at the top, what, what you did for number two. They put the ordered pair in parentheses for you, okay? So the ordered pair for letter A was one comma one, and that's where you knew how to draw your, where to put your point, okay? So the green dot, well, I'll do the green dot for you and that's it, okay? The green dot, when you look at the green dot, how far over is the green dot? How many did you go across? One, and then how many did you go up? Two. So all you're going to put next to green, letter A, is one, two, because it went up two. Do you see that? So that's all you're doing. You're looking at each of the dots. You're going to do the red dot next. Then you're going to do the blue dot. Then you're going to do the orange dot. Go across, then up. Across, then up. Across, then up. Okay? Okay. There you go. feel like we just did a little exercise there. Okay, now, section four. I'm going to read the numbers, but remember, I only repeat them twice, okay? So listen carefully. So if you're not on section four yet, go ahead, get to section four right now, because I'm only going to read these twice, and then you write them down, okay? Letter A, 360,295. 360,295. 329,378. Letter B, 1,529,378. 1,529,378. C, 42,003, 42,003. All right, did you get those? I think you did well because you guys have been getting better and better and better at those, writing those numbers down. So I have faith in you. So section five, follow the signs, easy stuff. Section six, write the products, easy stuff. 11, 10, 12, you know those. Then you're rounding to the nearest dollar, writing your measures, and writing the Arabic numerals for the Roman numerals. Pretty simple today. So finish strong, get that done, and then be ready for you know taking those tests and getting those out of the way too. So I know you've got this. Keep working hard today. Proud of you.